Good morning. Sarah with you here on a Wednesday morning. It's good to see you. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing uh, John chapter 4, 43 through 54 again. And looking at when we find ourselves searching for a sign, um, what, that, what does that mean about us, really? Um, taking a deeper look at that this morning. As we know in the passage we've been uh, meandering through this week and from Sunday is that the um, centurion uh, was wanting the healing of his son. And when he came forward for his son to be healed, for Jesus to go with him back to Capernaum for that, um, we see Jesus say to everyone, really, um, Will you never believe in me unless you see miraculous signs and wonders? And um, 1 Corinthians uh, 1, chapter 1, verses 22 says, It is foolish to the Jews who ask for signs from heaven, and it is foolish to the Greeks who ask for human, who seek human wisdom. And so we might ask ourselves, well, what is foolish to the Jews and what is foolish to the Greeks in this first Corinthians passage and we have to look um, we have to look back at verse 18 to actually get that answer in the context here and what it says in verse 18 is the message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed for destruction um, but to those who are being saved know that it's the very power of God and I think really what this points to for us today, you know, as we think about, you know, are, are we looking for a sign? Are, are we looking for something very specific from God for us to believe who he says he is and who he's revealed himself to be in the person of Jesus? Um, that sometimes we, we, we definitely maybe don't look, we look at the cross as foolish. We look at maybe the way that Jesus um, didn't demand authority, but uh, he humbly served and humbly sought out the marginalized um, and didn't make a grand entrance of his power and his authority, but instead dropped that, uh, used his power actually in service to, to others and in service to what we need the most, which is um, salvation, uh, restoration back to connection with God, to this relationship that is going to free us further and further. And so, so today we might ask, so what is the, what is the sign that maybe you're looking for to, to prove that, um, Jesus is God? Um, maybe, maybe that's not your question, but maybe you have a question of like, is there a sign that you're looking to for um, from God that will help you feel more confident in him in a certain way. And I guess I'd like to ask, what's the question going on inside the question? Or maybe even what kind of God are you looking for specifically? What does your desire for a specific sign um, or a specific answer from God really say about what you really believe about him? I think that that's worthy of some uh, reflection and just some thinking about um, because sometimes our questions really reveal our hearts and and that's a good thing to to sink into and to explore it's it's not something to shy away from so uh, what do your what do the things that you desire for God to do for you uh, reveal to you about the God that you want to trust so and how is that aligned or misaligned with the God that we see in Jesus? So just a few things to ponder on a Wednesday. Have you, hope you have a great week.